Hello there! Today we're going to talk about something boring that no one actually cares about, but I don't know, maybe it'll be an interesting discussion. Uh, people ask me a lot about these things that you've never heard about, called the Gopher Protocol and the Gemini Protocol. Ooh, Gemini Protocol. That sounds, I don't know, that's, that's like from the Matrix or, 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 I don't know, it's very cyberpunk, right? Um, and they often ask me to talk about them or endorse them or do videos on them. What are they? No one knows. I will explain to you briefly in this video. Um, now the reason they have become popular recently is because there are many other uh, YouTube influencers who have done videos on these kind of things. Now what they are, well to explain the background I should say, one recurring theme on this channel and many other channels nowadays in my neighborhood, okay, is that I complain a lot about web bloat, uh, too many ads, too many trackers, too much scripting, informational content is hard to get to. Uh, the internet is way bigger than it's supposed to be. It's it's insecure. Uh, your privacy is always at risk. There are a bunch of bad things about the internet nowadays. And specifically, most of them happen over the HTTP protocol, right? When you go to a website, what a website is, it's something served over the HTTP protocol or HTTPS nowadays because it's all encrypted. Okay. Now, uh, Gopher is also a protocol similar, I mean, similar but different, same genre uh, more or less as HTTP. Uh, now you can't go, there are gopher sites on the internet. You can't just go there with your browser. You have to have a special gopher browser. Okay. Um, but you can go to these sites and they're usually very simple. They're text-based. Uh, I don't, I don't know. They're very nice and minimalistic. So a lot of people come to me and, and Gemini, I should say what Gemini is, is a modern, you know, I, I guess a, a modern version, not, not a modern version of gopher, but it, it's supposed to be uh, you, you take some principles of Gopher, Gopher and I think some things in HTTP and they make them, I guess, modern. It's automatically over uh, encrypted connections and stuff like that. Um, okay, so a lot of people come to me and they say, Luke, why don't you do videos on this? This seems like exactly what you would want to do a video on, okay? Now, I do not care about these things right now. Theoretically, I might care in the future, but I absolutely do not care now. And I, I although there are other people who do videos on them, have talked about browsers and stuff like that. I view them as, it, it's just pointless to me. And let me explain why. Now again, they might become pointful later on, but they are pointless right now. And that is because um, any of these kind of web protocols, they are going to live or die based on networking effects, okay? You can say something like Gopher is a better protocol than HTTP. And maybe in some ways that's right. But it doesn't actually matter because HTTP won. Okay, all the sites out there are using HTTP, and if you put up a Gopher site or if you put up a Gemini site, no, no normal human is actually going to be able to see that. The only people who see that are the people who use these niche uh, protocols. Okay, so a lot of people, oh Luke, why don't you have a Gemini site? Why don't you have a Gopher site? Blah blah blah. What you should get one, dude. It's so cool. Um, that is not something I'm interested in because I want people to see my sites. Okay, like that. That's the goal. Like the people making those sites. And, and I'm not knocking the people who do. They are just interested in the technology. They want to figure it out. They want to see what they can do. Now, if you want to talk to someone about these things, if you want them to make them go become a big thing, um, the, the real people to compl not complain to, but to go to is go to people who design browsers. Go to Brendan and I can say, hey, in, you should work into the Brave browser uh, so the ability to open a Gopher site in my browser, okay? Because right now people have to get add-ons or, or different browsers to look at Gopher sites or Gemini sites or stuff like that. And nothing is going to change. Like, you need the networking effects for this to be something that normal humans are going to use, right? Um, it's not, like, you are not going to get everyone in the world to switch to this new protocol that you can't access over HTTP. Um, but if you, if you do something like work them into browsers or something like that, like if, if a normie is given a gopher link and their browser knows how to open that, that's something that's workable. Well, right now it is just not, okay. That's not how it is. And I actually severely doubt, um, I mean, maybe it'll happen, but I doubt that like someone is going to add, I don't, maybe, okay. I don't, I don't want to be too, too much of a downer, but, um, I just don't view that as a likely thing that browsers are going to be like, oh, let's, let's add compatibility with gopher sites or, or stuff like that. Um, now I mentioned Brendan Eich and Brave because they, Bra the Brave browser actually have, has added in, like they add in, they added in like web torrent stuff. So they have added in the ability to interact with other protocols and that's very nice. So th they would probably actually be the ones like most likely to, to do something like this. Um, but additionally, I'm going to, I'm going to simp for HTTP just for a second because a lot of people do say stuff like this. 
oh, well, you know, the nice thing about Gopher and the nice thing about Gemini is you can't have tracking because they don't have these abilities in them. You can't have, you know, complex scripting. You can't have soy devery and stuff like that, right? And sure, there's a level on which that's nice. Like, it, it would be nice if I could just log on my browser and, I, you know, I click on a site that says it's a Gopher site. Oh, look, I don't have to worry about all this kind of stuff. Sure. Um, but, the, I mean, one of the nice things... I mean, it, it's not necessarily a good thing to have few abilities, okay? HTTP, although, you know, you guys know that I will be the first to, um, you know, complain about JavaScript and tracking and ads and all this kind of stuff, but, um, like, there's a sense in which, the like, people want and need some degree of scripting and other things. Like, these things are necessary on the Internet. Now, obviously, I am the first one to say that they should not be on 99% of sites, um, but you do need the at least the ability in certain situations to have something more advanced. And HTTP has that worked into it, or at least on top of it in a very ugly sense, but it works, okay? So just a, a, a minor example, you know, although I will always say JavaScript's bad and it, like it should not be a normal thing to put in a website, um, there are legitimate uses on JavaScript. For example, I have JavaScript running um, on my PeerTube instance, okay, for people to interact with videos. It's It's more or less... Uh, necessary for there. If you go to my donate page, okay, what is it? Like at lukesmith.xyz slash donate, okay, that donate page has JavaScript. What's the point of the JavaScript there? Well, if you decide to donate with a credit card or something, it uses JavaScript to go directly to the payment processor, so your data is not stored on my server, okay? That's for safety and legal reasons. Um, so that's that's a good example of, of things where uh, you really need JavaScript and so, or like these kind of uh, bloated protocols, which again are not essentially evil, um, but it's 99% of the time they're used for evil. Uh, but uh, there are there are reasons that you actually want these things. Okay, so I don't think it's necessarily a good thing to say, oh well, Gemini or Gopher, you cannot bloat them. Okay, that's not necessarily a good thing. You want the ability to bloat them. You want the ability to do lots of things in them. Um, but, I mean, the problem is really d discipline, like, in people who are making websites. That's, you know, you know, my belief. I think that people just need to learn to restrain themselves. Um, so, anyway, that's why I don't really do videos on, on Gopher or Gemini, and I'm not really that interested in them. Um, I think that if browsers, I mean, if browsers come out with the ability for normal people to actually view these kind of sites, that might be interesting. Um, I am not going to make one. And, and the other thing is, you know, people will say stuff like, oh, well, Luke, you can have this web server that also serves your Gopher site or your Gemini site over HTTP. And, it, and to me, that's like useless. Why don't I just have an HTTP site? Okay, what, what's the point of that? Having an extra little converter to convert it. Like, there's no point. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think the, the bottleneck is on the browser side. If you want these things to be serious things, uh, don't come to me thinking that I might popularize them, okay? Because that's not, that's not what I'm going to do. Go to the browsers and the people who are developing these and say, hey, it would be nice if you had this compatibility with that protocol. I don't think that's very likely, um, but it, hey, it might happen. Um, so yeah, hopefully that not just clears up my views on uh, Gemini and Gopher, but also, uh, you know, I, I guess, again, I'm not against, I'm not against technology like javascript or server side or scripting or, or anything like that but all of it has to be used with extreme discipline okay and i like the ability to have those things but they have to be used responsibly and they're not most of the time but they have to be used responsibly anyway that's it